Sure. New questions being raised today about just how secure the Obamacare website really is. The chief information security officer for healthcare.gov telling a House panel that she told the administration prior to launch that the site was vulnerable. Teresa Fryer says she warned against a September launch due to high risks, but was overruled by her superiors, and she says the site is still vulnerable. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan is a member of the House Oversight Committee, which conducted the interview, I believe, on Wednesday. Is that right, uh, Congressman Wednesday or so? Right. Right. All right, so tell That's us about right. that. That's very important information here. Ms. Pryor says that she knew right. that the website was going to be vulnerable and warned against uh, an October launch because of the, the privacy issues and some of the security issues. How come she didn't tell anyone? Right. Well, she did. I mean, she actually refused. I mean, this is how, how big this is. She refused to sign the document called the Authority to Operate document, broke protocol, broke the process that they normally have, and they had Ms. Tavener, who's head of CMS, sign the document. So did Ms. Tavener fully know? We don't, we don't know that yet. What did Ms. Sebelius know at that time? We don't know that yet. We need to bring them back in and ask them those questions. But Ms. Fryer, the chief information security officer, refused to sign the document because she said, this thing's not ready. And these folks, this administration, launched it anyway. So that's one big takeaway. Then once it launched, they didn't have any independent assessment of the security risk going on until the last few weeks when that resumed they found out there are now still big security risks so three big takeaways from this uh... this lady's um, uh... interview uh... transcribed interview that took place earlier this week chief security information officer fairly high level yep. uh, post is it not it, is, it sure is and I mean, the reason, when, hold on, when, just when the reason why i'm asking this because i want to set up this soundbite because listen to kathleen sebelius just a few weeks ago saying this go Seven weeks later, and today is seven weeks from the day that the website launched, if I knew now what I, uh, you know, if I had known then what I know now, uh, we probably would have made a different call. Okay, so let me just set this up. So sometime prior to the launch on October 1st, Mrs. Fryer said she knew there were security issues, right? Right. And Kathleen Sibili said if I had known... If I knew now what I had known, or had, had known then what I know now, we never would have launched. Why didn't... Kathleen Sebelius know when Ms. Fryer absolutely knew and was warning against it? D Eric, that's a critical question. What we do know is on September 20th, Ms. Fryer communicated to her superiors that she recommends they not sign the authority to operate agreement. So she says, don't launch this thing. It's not ready on September 20th, 10 days before this thing was supposed to launch the October 1st date. So why Ms. Sebelius didn't learn about that, uh, this, this fact in that 10-day time frame? anybody's guess, but she needs to come back in and tell us, why didn't you know, and who are the people between Ms. Fryer and Ms. Sebelius who didn't communicate that to Ms. Sebelius if, in fact, she didn't know? When your chief information officer says, or security officer says it's not safe, and you don't know, boy, I got to say, uh, Congressman, I got to say, I, I, some, someone's at fault here. Someone, I, I, my, my question is, uh, do you have confidence in Kathleen Sebelius going forward that something well, like this isn't going to happen yet again? Oh, well, this thing's a mess. I mean, the, the previous clip and, and everything, what happened with the president waving the, 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 the next thing, the, the, one of the many things he's waved in this law. So this thing's a mess, and it should, all of it should be delayed. Frankly, all of it should be uh, repealed. No, I don't have confidence in Sebelius, and frankly, the American people don't either. So we got to bring her back in and ask her some questions. What did you learn in that 10-day in that time frame from when Ms. Fryer communicated that this was a problem? Here's the big thing, too. October 1st is not in the law. This is just a date this administration picked. Absolutely. I think it's interesting that it also happens to correspond with the fiscal year and that they all actually wanted to shut down. Instead of doing the right thing and delaying this whole thing, they, wanted, they, they, they had to keep that date for political reasons. And what they did was put millions of Americans' personal information at risk. That was, it was worth doing that for the political gain this administration thought they could get by sticking to the October 1st date. Should uh, Kathleen Sebelius be fired? Of course. Yeah, she should, be gone. she should have been gone a long time ago. All right, we're going to leave it there. By the way, there are a lot of conservatives out there who said, just hold on, just hold on, just give it some time, delay it for a year, make sure this thing works, A, and is safe and secure, B. We're going to leave it there. Congressman uh, Jim Jordan, thank you very much.